ye gure fellow mourners, I want to take this opportunity, first of all, to appreciate that we have kept you here for so long, and yet you have been able to bear with us. We thank God in a special way for having introduced us to his angel we see in Ben. We thank God for what he, he, he was to us. I think you have heard from different people. We are talking as family. I don't have the capacity to talk about uh, uh, all Ben's aspects of life. I can only talk on behalf of the family to support Malebe, what we felt as a family, as a loving husband, as a great father, as an inspirer, as our teacher, as our everything that we needed. I met Benon when I was in my S6 long vacation. I had a diff you know, like a background that was constraining me from marrying people who are not saved. I just come, come from Gayaza. And I felt we had been counseled right. We had prayed, and remember Miss Warren, our former headmistress, made us pray for our future husbands when we didn't even imagine we needed a husband. And I remember in my prayer, I prayed for a God-fearing person. I'm glad to God that God gave me a God-fearing person. I met, um, Honorable John Kazura mentioned that we dated for three years. That was an understatement. Probably Richard, Ambassador Richard Cabonello should have a better detail. Because most of the adventures I would find him, he would be our driver. Then, and he was there to laugh at his experience. I met Benon in 19... 85, we married in 91, That's a quite, that was quite a walk. And I thank God for that time, and really, if it were possible, I'd encourage my children to date for a long time to understand, the, understand each other, instead of just dashing into each other. I take this opportunity to appreciate everyone who was available in his trying time. I believe that God tries people he, uh, uh, closest to his heart. Because in his prayer, after he had passed on, he, went his, he prays, he, he, he keeps writing his prayers. And one of the prayers he was, he kept repeating it, Asking God to make him a leader near his heart, being near the heart of Christ. And that kind of person, being uh, tried for this long time, I was always asking God, why? Why him? Why him, Lord? But the, the Bible is very clear. And it will explain. And he kept telling me, in his life, he always admired the literature, the Bible literature as the most, you know, like any wisdom we need on earth would get it from there. He read, I don't know how many times Ben read the Bible from page to page to the end and back. And you know when I was growing up, we were scared about reading the Bible and finishing it and they would tell you when you finish it, you will die. So we read it in portions. But he would read page to page, go to the end, you know, like, and with a lot of interest, it's like he would analyze it, and that's the kind of person as I lived with, and I'm honored to be talking about, you know, like, appreciating his life. Uh, coming back to people who stood with Benon in his trying time, 
I vividly remember in India, it reached a point, his level of faith was amazing. Benon was not an ordinary person. Would reach a point like, um, it became so expensive. And around that time, the money that was, you know, like state had offered to us was not sufficient. And when, you know, he would tell me, you know, Joy, when this money gets finished, you no know, friends came in, relatives, friends, you know, like they really, really tried to give him a push. And whenever the money would get, you know, we were running, chemotherapy drip was $3,200, and we were doing it two times a month, plus other expenses. So it reached a point I said, if God does not provide money for this next treatment, I know he is going to heal me in a different way. We go home. Out. I shut at his it's, it's like, and then, okay, now let's change our approach. Let's pray that God provides money beyond our need. And whenever he would change his prayer, God would provide at the right time. I thank God. We came back to you um, to me to explain to you that uh, Eventually, his body could not tolerate the treatment. And when he did a PET scan that time, said, Joy, we go home. And to me, going home before you, actually, they declare you cancer free was not easy. But he had his faith. He said, just get. I said, OK, let's go with a boat and maybe cars. I said, no, I have the money for treatment. But I feel at this point I need God to heal me, not this chemical they are pouring into my body. I had, you know, the uh, media today, the red paper talking about Benon lacking. Benon never lacked. He believed in his God and he provided on time. At the most recent, when he got this rear attack, someone he had a sponsor to take him to German for treatment. He opted to stay. He never lacked in any way. But those are not true statements. I thank God for our prayer partners. You. That we, we actually, we are not uh, victims, we are victors. Ben is in heaven, and we have all the assurance of him. I thank the military family. CDF, you visited us at the right time when we needed you. May God visit you in your, in your need at a different time. You returned to our life at the time when you would have done for anyone. Benon had a big heart that he would offer anything, even at times he would offer my, you know, like what I owned to the people in need. I thank my family, my siblings, and they've been special, my in-laws, his family, all his children, the nephews, the nieces, the aunties, anyway, I can't describe. I'm, I'm not going to mention people's names because everyone struggled to have been healed or sick in comfort. In a special way, I want to thank my children. Yesterday, as Kanyuan was trying to break down, he said, he, he, she was apologizing. Kanyuan is just 13. Um, and he was saying, Mommy, I'm so sorry, I have cried. I said, cry, why wouldn't you cry? He said, no, daddy said that I, we should be strong for you. Behind my back, he counseled his children and prepared them for this. Their cousins have stood with them all through. In a special way, we thank you. The uncles, the aunties, the... I can't thank and finish. 
his friends, the demon had sets of friends, social friends, spiritual friends, military friends, and all of them stretched far to reach his need. I thank God for a gift of parents. Ben has both parents and even an auntie we live with, a paternal auntie we live with in our home. God will take care of them. He felt a child before them. We thank the medical team who had all sorts of medicines. And we thank God. If you ask me anything, alternative medicine today, or medicine, medicine, I may talk as an, oncolo an oncologist. I have seen it all. We thank them for the effort to keep this angel in comfort, even in his time of trial. I will not dare describe Ben. He was not an ordinary person. Actually, even when, he, when we were losing him, we were all annoyed with him. Because he changed his prayer, he was not the Ben we had in India. He seemed tired, and God always granted his prayer. And that's what happened this last minute, that he could not have it anymore. He changed his prayer, and we lost him. Ben was not an ordinary person in any way. His level of faith was so deep. And he told the act, I got saved before him. Ben, ben got saved in 1998. I got saved before him, but he taught me so much about faith, which I didn't have. And up to now, I don't think I can measure to that level. I apologize to those who were offended by his truth. I actually keep, at times, I, you know, it uh, chills me when he's talking to like people who are overweight. He blamed his health on uh, putting on a lot of weight. And whenever he meets anyone with a tummy, the first thing he'll counsel you about, about your health, that you are. And you know, some people, it's offensive. So in the same way, he would not keep quiet on any political, social, or any aspect in life if he's feel, he feels he's convinced about it. I apologize to those who are offended. He all does it in love. This is a very difficult moment in our lives to talk about him. We are mourning a giant with a gentle soul. The mark of excellence in this pain. Ben, my love, you've been my defense and social shelter. My patient, my patient and respectful companion, whose sense of humor made our marriage special. Great father of my children, and our principal role model, above all, my best friend. I thank you for choosing me amongst many, for making me a priority in your life, and for accepting my flaws. You encouraged me to be the best version of myself. You gave me my, your all. May God grant you a restful time in heaven that does not have any more pain. Give her another round for that um, firmness. Uh, dear mourners, we thank you for the patience. I have been Brigadier General Felix Kuraije, Member of Parliament, working with the Brigadier General Matthew Greme to carry through this program. I now hand over back to the church. You could see that we could only see interludes of being soldiers, but mostly these were political activists. <laughs> the other outstanding feature 
of Benon was his passion for knowledge, for ideas, and sharing these ideas. He was also a powerful, efficient communicator. Articulate, even if what he was talking was unpleasant or unconvincing to the other party. Fourth point is his monumental contribution to the defense review process, which gave birth to the new professional multi-service UPDF. This, in addition to the establishment of the premier senior command and staff college, which he led at the onset. Last, I want to commend Benon for his civilized approach to politics. He tried to play sanitized politics. He demonstrated that politics could be without abuse, without hate, without contempt, without threats. As UPDF, whatever we could do, we did for him. But he earned it. I want to thank the President and Commander-in-Chief for allowing to give Benon a befitting send-off. We pray that God protects his family now and always. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you. Honorable ministers present, honorable members of parliament, some of whom I have seen, uh, former prime minister of Uganda, right honorable Mama Babazi and your dear wife Jacqueline, CDF, officers and men of the UPDF, family and friends, um, strong protocol observed. <clears throat> I think my job has been done and I want to take this opportunity to thank all those who have spoke well about Benon and who have said what we know about Benon. Joy is my young, one of my youngest sisters, is actually the second last born of my family. So I stand here to speak on behalf of my siblings, my sisters, especially our cousins who are all here, our relatives. And I thank you all for knowing Benon and for the support that you have given to Joy and her children. Because Benon's children are our children. I want to thank God first and foremost for bringing Benon to us and also for giving us Benon in our family, to be a member of our family and to have produced children with him. Now, a lot has been said about Benon, and indeed, Bishop Muhima has posed a question, and he always does. Thank you, Bishop. How would you want to be remembered? This is how I remember Benon. Just to add to what many other colleagues, friends, workmates have said. Benon was loving not just loving to God, because everyone has said it, but now as a family member and Joy's sister, I want to let you know that Joy uh, Benon was a loving husband. Very, very loving husband. <laughs> Unquestionable, there is no doubt about it. In sick and keen, I'll give you an example. Before we all started knowing going out for holidays, Benon used to take his wife 
for a holiday. You would, ha would hear that they have traveled here and there. Not that he had so much money more than others, but he really wanted to please joy. So we thank you. And in that same breath, Nienda Kusima Abajina Naveni Shemradi Abat Kunzre Mkajam Kachira Joy. And I want to thank you for being there for joy to that reward you. To Mine Asa Yavarim Nonga, Mere Naksimre Nahati Nienda Kuchigar Kamu Kaksima. When Hati if you gamba and trach is an each row, it's very hard. Really, we all had never substantially, but this is too much. I just want to quote what I read this morning from my scripture, which I do every day, and I thought it was relevant for Joy and her children on a day like this one. And it comes from Psalms. Chapter 144, verse 2. And it says, He's my loving God and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge. Honestly, this to me was so relevant on a day like this one because it reminded me of what Benon would say to us every time you would go to see him in the recent time and you find that he's really bad love. Benon would put on his usual cheer, loving to God, loving to people, loving to his family, very, very brave man, bold, principled. I wanted to give you an example of how patriotic he was. When he decided to stand 2016, a few of us were already in politics. So I took my time to go and talk to Benon and try to discourage him. And many of us were not in favor. It was like, Benon, what you are taking on is too much. What do you want to get out of this? What is your intention? Do you really think you can win this competition? Why are you doing it at this time? And of course, we are trading carefully, as you know, when someone has decided to stand, you have to trade carefully. Benon was so bold to me and said, Do I have to win? I will have put out the message to Ugandans. <laughs> and I am a liberator. This is the second war. Like I went to the bush, I want Ugandans to know the, the cause that take a, took us to the bush and that we are still standing with it and that we, we still hold those principles. Now I see in the media, they are writing all sorts of things about and ridiculing the bush war. Why did you go? What did, all sorts of things, I don't have to repeat them, you all read. So Benon said, I want to go out there and give a message to I cannot to Ugandans. And then I told him about his family, the sacrifice he was making. And Benon was already showing signs of illness, quite frankly. Those of us who know him, all of you colleagues, you would actually see Benon on the rally, even when he, they had the presidential address. You could see Benon was ill, really ill at that time. He would leave the rally, go to hospital, go on a drip. Clearly, he had some very serious illness. But he said, I have a message for Ugandans, and God will give me an opportunity to deliver it. That's how patriotic <laughs> Benon was. And he PDF. And I'm glad to speak when you are here, and when you have done a very befitting send-off for Benon. He loved UPDF and the founder of UPDF. He was proud of being a member of CDF. Thank you so much. And thank you for being here, for giving Ben on a send-off that is befitting like this. I want to thank the commander of UP, of uh, the UP, not just the commander of UPDF, but the
Commander in Chief, yes. Your language sometimes can be very technical. The Commander in Chief who is the President of the Republic of Uganda. First and foremost, for promoting and giving Benin an opportunity to reach the rank that he reached. He would be a nobody. There are people who have been in the army for years. They, uh, they have not reached anywhere. So that was an opportunity. And the more reason why I thank you, PDF. Thank you for giving him, Benon, an opportunity to excel. Benon was not just brave and bold and principled. He was a very forgiving and patient man. Even the way he would do his politics and so on, he was not angry about anybody, anything as such. Just had a message to give out. He was a very intelligent, knowledgeable, well-read. I tell you what, Africans need to write more and more. I've fallen without re uh, leaving any literature in place about the knowledge he had, the experience he has had. Because if you wanted any story about the bush, for example, or anything about your UPDF, you would take time. And if you are wrong, you will put you right. With patience and so, no. Mero guiri, ahotichichiri. Let me tell you the real story, the real truth. So, you have loved God. It's not just Benon. Joy has been by the side of Benon as warriors in the faith of Jesus Christ. And I thank God for that. Because your life is not going to be hopeless. Just a little bit telling you about Joy. It's amazing that Joy was risen, raised up as a very spoiled girl. In fact, I remember returning to this country and Benon was trying to get into a relationship with Joy and Joy was eh, evading, and so I sat Joy down and I said, what are you doing with your life? Benon loves you, to get someone who loves you like this. But it reminded me that it was the very spoiled Joy that was overprotected and overcuddled by our father. Because she was a last born for a long time. Thank you for giving your life to Benon, there is no doubt. God that Benon has loved, that you have loved, that you have served, will sustain you, will sustain your children. They, are, they know their father. The last thing is to give a message to my kids, to, my, to our children. You know your father very well. Times would say, you know, we have not paid school fees for the children. And then, then she would mention in the conversation that it is only... The other children, Benon's niece and nephew and others that he was paying for, whose school fees has already been paid, but not yet his immediate biological children. That was Benon. Thank you for returning your love. It will always be with you.